it in practice one, task 24, explain the code given below. So the code starts defining a function. Function is called my function, and it takes one argument. Argument is called n. In the second line, a conditional statement starts, indicated by if, and it checks if n has the value, right, important value, not identical to, but value of 1. If it is 1, it returns the value, so it would here return 1. If it is not 1, it goes into the else block, and it will return n times n times the function, my function, with n lowered by 1. Huh. So at this point, right, Python would call the function again with n minus 1. And then if n minus 1 is equal 1, it stops here, otherwise it goes back here and calls the function again and again and again. So let's see. Either way, that would be called a recursive function. So with 1 it is 1, with 2, right, so n equal 2, we go here, 2 times 2 is 4, right, then n is uh, passed as n minus 1, so equal 1 to my function again, and it will return 1. So it will be 1, time, so 1 times 2 times 2, which is 4. So now 3. So we go in here, 3 times 3, mm -hmm. um, that's 9, then I call my function again with 2, right? then I will have 2 times 2, right? then call this function again, will be 1, so the previous part, 2 by 2, will be 4, 4 times 9 from the first time we call that function, and 9 times 9 is... 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 4 is 36. Sorry. Okay, and that is what the function is doing. 